definitely feel like sex, edu sex education is something that we need to focus on whenever we're talking in terms of abortion, reproduction, and all this good stuff that seems to be a hot topic in the society. So anyway, let me share the story with you of my experience with sex education in school and how the vagina pancakes come into the story. Okay, so this is how I remember it, right? We were all just sitting in class one day and we were doing some self-study and Miss Johnson from the office comes into class and she goes and she whispers something into the teacher's ear. And then all of a sudden, the teacher is like, okay, we're gonna separate the girls from the boys. So my teacher gathered all of the girls and said, come on girls, we're gonna go and watch a movie. Yay! So the teacher guides all of the girls down the hall until we approach this small little room, which was like the janitor's closet or the storage room, I kid you not. And they said, all right, girls, come into this room and have a seat on the floor. So we're jam packed in this little janitor storeroom and we're sitting on the floor. They wheel this big thing into the room and they put in a videotape. And in the video, there are three main characters, right? There's a mom who I'll call Karen and there's the daughter, I'll call her Jessica, and the friend of Jessica, which I will call Becky. So in this video, Jess was having a sleepover with Becky, and Jess had to wake up Becky, and she's like, come on, Becky, wake up, my mom is making pancakes. So they go downstairs, and lo and behold, Karen is making pancakes. Now Karen decided that this would be the perfect opportunity to teach her daughter and her friend all about puberty. So what, mom karen decided to do to teach her child and her child's friend about puberty was to make vagina pancakes i kid you not she's literally on the stove with a pan and pouring out vagina pancakes and she's got the ovaries going on and it goes down into a little funnel and i kid you not me like totally taking in this environment i bust out laughing now i know it was inappropriate but i mean come on you got all of these girls in a really small room and you're showing them a video about this woman making vagina pancakes. I thought it was funny as fuck. I laughed. I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, what the hell is this? I'm completely embarrassed. And I'm thinking in my mind, is this woman gonna put chocolate chips for pubic hairs? Like I have no idea what was going on here, okay? Anyway, there were two teachers in the room. One thought that my response was absolutely hilarious and the other one was definitely disappointed that, oh my God, Desiree is acting this way. It was very hard for me to take a topic like puberty and sexual reproduction serious in a moment like this. Like I just couldn't. So anyway, Karen just continues to make these pancakes and then the video end and then to make matters worse the teachers decide let's have an open discussion to talk about what you're feeling because apparently some people have some strong emotions about what the hell just happened now because I already broke the awkward silence with my fucking hyena laughter I decided that I was going to engage and answer some of these questions, right? So she asks, you know, what did you learn about this video and what happens to um, your body as you're going through puberty? And then we just kind of talk about, well, we get our periods, we grow hair on our armpits and we begin to smell, we break out in acne and all this other stuff. And then after that, I guess after the mood and the atmosphere was like a little bit less um, tense, they took us back into the class and we just finished the school day like nothing had ever happened. I'm, I'm scarred. Like I'm, I'm scarred, okay? Like I have no idea what the fuck just happened. I'm sitting in class, like I can't get this experience out of my mind. Like I just was totally disrupted from what was a completely normal day to being shoved in a janitor's closet to watch a video about a woman creating vagina pancakes for her daughter and her daughter's friend and then asking questions to talk about my lady bits. I mean, come on, what the fuck? That is not sex education. Like that is what we had in 1997. Guys, there is literally a subreddit about this exact video and the comments do not disappoint. Let me share some of them with you. I have told so many people about this video too. Why is it that no one believes us? I swear to God, guys, this is a real story. This was a real video. Little snail, there were so many girls that said they never wanted to eat pancakes again after that video, uh, fifth grade. See, I don't know if I would have been strong enough to handle that at fifth grade. I definitely wasn't in seventh grade, and at fifth grade, I probably, I, I would have been traumatized. I would have been traumatized more than I already am.
the index player. Okay, this is neat. Now it's time for cock and balls pancakes. I mean, come on. So if you like this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. I really do highly appreciate it. And that's it. That's all I have in this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, bye. <laughs>